Hello, in this tutorial I will show you a multi texture material. Um, this mater what's special on this material is um, there are 32 textures inside one material and the object uh, uh, selected uh, the material randomly. <coughs> so when I duplicate this plane with alt duplicate <coughs> there will always appear mostly appear another texture in this case 32 of them <coughs> they were controlled by uh, by the random info node. This will I will show you this soon. <coughs> Wait a second, I will clean this up again. <coughs> okay, uh, you can use this also for the particle engine. <coughs> this would look like this. Um, here is uh, the particle system uh, will be rendered by object. My object is uh, yeah this plane. Okay, and now I show you what's special on this uh, material. <coughs> This is the uh, info. Uh, this is the node, uh, uh, the node editor, the material nodes. <coughs> and what you see here uh, is the setup. This um, uh, the random uh, object info node, color ramp, color ramp, color, color ramp, and another color ramp, and this uh, color ramp two. <coughs> And um, these are all nodes uh, except this one, this one, uh, this node group. I can show you what's inside uh, the setup for the PNG cutout. Uh, yeah, the group in input comes from the direct from the PNG image texture, and uh, here we have the alpha for the factor, and the factor controls the transparent and the diffuse. Uh, okay, that's all. <coughs> and here is just uh, the UV map connected with all the textures. The textures um, are all PNGs. They have all the same resolution and they are all different quite easy 32 of them okay and um, uh, let's go back to the note editor <coughs> uh, the special uh, thing on this is uh, the color ramp the color ramp has to have <coughs> the same amount of divisions like you have input shader uh, in the mixed shader. <coughs> I come from 32 textures and I need 32 input shader in my mixed shader. And the factor comes from the color ramp and the color ramp has to be divided with the same amount of black and white colors. The same in the next channel. Here are uh, the half. Here are 32 input shader. Here are 16 input shader and I have to divide my color ramp with 16 black and white colors. Uh, in the next one uh, there are 8 
input shader and the color ramp is divided by 8 and so on and here we have 4 input shader the color ramp is divided by 4 black and white colors and the last one are 2 okay so far so simple um, and all the color ramps are connected with my random object info output here um, you will think it is uh, quite difficult to build a uh, color ramp like this. I can show you a little trick I used. Um, you need the calculator <coughs> and you have to divide 1 by uh, divided by 32. And that's uh, the number you need for the, n for the first value in your color ramp. Okay, um, in this case I show it with a new node, color ramp, constant, and the first value was 0 0.03125. Okay, uh, let's uh, do this again, <laughs> I did a mistake, I forgot something. 0.03125 and I have to copy this with control C and enter. So now comes the next one. I paste it with a control V and multiply with my numpad, multiply 2 and the next control V multiply 3 next paste multiply 4 paste multiply 5 paste multiply 6 and so on and uh, yeah this is not so it's <coughs> quite fast to build this up um, you need these uh, colorums <coughs> yeah, and the result will be this uh, random material with so many people you need <laughs> or trees or something else uh, and this would look like this okay I hope you enjoyed uh, this tutorial and learned something and yeah that that's all bye bye